Bills into the AFC Championship. Harris, the snapper. Huber will hold it. 52-yarder! Sweeps the leg, McPherson! He's got it! Cincinnati wins! They are going to the AFC Championship game for the first time since 1988! What is good, everybody? Ohio Game Talks back with another video. Thank you all for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. It is a former AFC Central rivalry between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Tennessee Titans. Week 15 is finally here. It is the 5-8 and eight Bengals against the 3-10 and 10 Titans, man. Uh, again, both teams don't have... I mean, they have... A, I guess technically one of them does have something to play for, but chances are very low. So at this point, both these teams, what they're trying to do... Especially the Titans, you know, they're already eliminated. They're just trying to play for pride, play it out, and uh, see what they have in Will Levis, you know, for the rest of the season. He hasn't looked great, but, you know, all you can do as a Titans fan, as a Titans organization, is just pay attention to Will Levis, pay attention to, you know, just everybody they have going, really. You know, Tony Pollard as well, he has it going. I'll get into him in a minute. Uh, but, you know, that's what, you know, Brian Callahan, Tyler Boyd, you know, that's, those are former Bengals right there, man. So you feel for them, of course, you know, going through what they're going through with the Titans, even though we're not much better. <laughs> so, yeah, let's dive into it, man, though. Let's look at our Cincinnati Bengals, man. So we are 5-8. and eight. Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase have been unstoppable all year, and particularly last game, they were on fire. Joe Burrow had 369. Jamar had 177. So you know their strength is their passing attack. Their weakness, of course, missed tackles and a weak, struggling defense. They picked it up in the fourth quarter. They picked it up in the second half against LA, but it's just been so inconsistently poor. And that's something that I just hate to see as a fan. But, you know, we're going against an offense that's not that great. So, you know, this is a chance for our defense to just kind of say, okay, well, you know, hopefully they can just come out and, you know, continue the momentum that they built in the fourth quarter last week. I mean, that's like key. You can only build on what they've done. So, you know, hopefully they bi they've they built the previous week off of, you know, struggles that they had in previous games or maybe even the, you know, the highlights that they had in the second half against the Chargers and whatnot. Like, those are things you just want to see, improvement. Um, am I disappointed where we're at? Of course. You know, we, we could be a lot better. But right now it's just about squaring up some wins. And I've, I'll say it again. Under these guys, Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, all of them, we're in a tank dilemma. We can't tank. I'm not rooting for this team to lose. No way. So I, that's a look at our Bengals, man. I'm excited to see what they do this week. You know, it'll be a stress-free game for sure. Um, and then you look at the Titans. I mean, they're 3-6, and six, or 3-10, and 10, I apologize. Uh, Tony Pollard has been carrying their offensive load. Uh, Will Levis has been struggling, yeah, and they have a weak passing offense. I believe they're 29, 30, whatever. But, yeah, their rushing game is strong, and the Bengals' run defense is not very good. So if, they're, if the Titans are going to win this game, they're going to have to feed the rock to Tony Pollard. And, you know, it's just going to come down to, you know, just what, how they how each team adjusts. You know, that's obviously something that Brian Callahan is, you know, kind of bringing to Tennessee you know, his adjustments were always very good. Um, and, you know, I always admire... I admire the coaches that do adjust in the second half. I mean, the Bengals, like, they're definitely considered, especially in 2022, 2021 as well. I mean, we were always a second-half team. Last year, you could even argue we were a second-half team. I mean, the games that we won, it would be a lot of comeback, comeback from behinds or it would just be maintaining the lead or playing just better in the second half, lead or not lead. Um, so... Look at the Titans. I mean, that's just how they look. They're not a good team. They're three and ten, disappointing year. And you know that's just it is what it is. I mean, we're not much better, man. But I just I want to say this though. A lot of Titans fans they killed me in the comments for saying like, "Oh, you're sleeping on the Titans, whatever." Um. Yeah, I mean that's all I gotta say. I mean that there's a reason. You know, I I may say some stuff that might be incorrect. But when I say something, I, I there's a reason behind it. 
I just didn't see this team doing very well. So there's a look at the Titans, man, for you. But some interesting matchups here that's going to, for me at least, Jamar Chase against the Titans secondary. I mean, how, you know, Legereus Sneed, he's on IR. I, I, I really, the injured list, like, I, I really don't know. I mean, I really want to, I want to see how Jamar Chase does. I mean, I'm, I hope we can get some shades of how they, how he looked in 2021 against them. I mean, y'all, everybody remembers that, you know, check down to Jamar Chase that turned into like 60, 70 yard, just scramble down the sideline. And that really set us up well. Um, one of the most unforgettable games in Bengals history, but at this point, man, it's slim hopes versus pride. That's how I look at it. The Titans are just playing to spoil our season and just also just, you know, continue to get wins and just see what they have in Will Levis. I mean, you know, that's something that we're going to have to adjust to as well because we know backup quarterbacks do not do well against us. So it's very important that we go get a win. And honestly, I would say this. If we are to win this game, it's going to have to be because of the offense. Because I have a feeling Tony Pollard is going to get his carries. Tony Pollard is going to get some yards. It comes down to can we, as a unit, stop him. And I really do think this game will be close only because, like, we know how these teams are. They're not very good teams right now. The Bengals, oftentimes, they play down a little bit. That's what they did yesterday as well. And then they get it together, and, you know, look what happens. So, I anticipate a close game. At the end of the day, these two teams have seen each other a lot. I mean, I know, yeah, they beat the crap out of us last year, 28 or 27 to 3, I believe it was. But we've had some success in Tennessee, too. I mean, they beat us in 2017. And, you know, in 2020, I believe we beat them in Cincinnati. 2021 in the playoffs, obviously. So, we've had, our, we've had their number in some ways, you know, over the years. Uh, so, I think... This could be no different. Just got to continue to go against a former division rival. Um, you know, that's just, it's just what it is, man. So just went out. I know we had a, I know a lot of scenarios are coming out like, oh, the Bengals, they win out and the Broncos lose. You know, they have the hardest schedule, whatever. Like, I'm not entertaining that. You know, I, I'm, I'm more of like a just let's just go there. Let's get a win. That's just how I roll right now. So the key, guys. Win. That's all I have to say. Just win. Don't matter how. And speaking of this dude, he gave us such a great game. I mean, it just like it just sucks what he's becoming. I mean, he's on IR. Uh, so I, I it hurts, but it, it's necessary. Like it's 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 necessary right now. I mean, I'm I'm happy that Cade York. You know, he had a good game last week um, against the Cowboys. So you know, that's just something that we just have to. You know, just accept it. It, it. This dude is just not what he used to be. Even when he comes back. Like, we don't know. And by the way, Steeler fans are everywhere. I swear to God, man. What is this 7 jersey doing in Tennessee? This is so funny. But anyway, back to the point. I mean, we just got to win. That's my goal. Just watch the team win. Playoff scenarios, that'll all take care of itself. Um, and, you know, I look forward to another hopeful good week of Cincinnati Bengals football. Against a former division rival, I don't really like the Titans that much. You know, they're they they're a former rival. They're not Steelers, Browns, Ravens level, but you know they can they can get pretty close. So, you know, let's just win, man. Enjoy your day, who day as always. Let's get a freaking win and let's improve to six and eight and keep our slim playoff hopes alive.